Hey, how is going everyone? Today I'd like to show you a super easy and fast way to cut your videos without re-encoding them. Alright, and I'm, I'm using FFmpeg, which is a very powerful, uh, very complete software that's available for, I think, every distribution through the package manager. So you can go ahead and install it and start learning it and start uh, using it. It's command line only, but yeah, you know, it's free at least. All right, so let's go to the documentation. And there are basically three main uh, options. So variables that I'm going to show you that are here in the main options. All right, the first two are uh, the, about the time duration. Okay, and uh, time duration on uh, using FFPAG, it's either in seconds. So like, for example, here 55 seconds or uh, hours, minutes and seconds and even milliseconds. All right. Okay, so we can start. And let's say that you want to cut a minute of a, of a video, all right? And you want to cut this minute starting from a minute, all right? So the video start after a minute, then you want that minute. So between a minute and two minutes, you want that part. All right, I have a video here, which is 10 minutes long, as you can see here. And yeah, I want from here a minute, I want this part for 60 seconds long. Let's make this, this example. To do so, I'm going to open FFmpg. I'm going to give him an input which is guilty dot okay then I'm going to start to to type I'm going to type the first option which is ss dash ss which stands for start stream that means that this stream actually start in my case at one minute so I will just skip the first minute and then the time duration dash t and I want 60 seconds all right guilty cut okay dot mp4 right now i'm not gonna not re-encoding so if i if i if i press enter i'm going to cut the video but i'm also going to re-encode it and i'll do so so i will show you the differences between speed all right how how much it takes by encoding and how much it takes by re-encoding how much without all right as you can see here, the speed with by encoding is almost 0. Dot, uh, let's say 800. It's less than 1, and 1 is a second. So here will take more than a minute, okay, in this case, because it's less than 1. It's almost 1 here right now. As you can see here, it's re-encoding using these codecs. Okay, here is native, and here is... Yes, actually native too. All right, this is uh, by re-encoding. Now I'll show you without encoding. To do so, I need to uh, type another option, which is codec, that's C, it stands for codec, and then I want to type copy. So everything will be copied. All right, this will be super fast. So I press enter right now. Yes, that's it. It's already finished. It already cut everything. As you can see, this is the speed. So before it was like, let's say 1, 0 0.800, 0 0.900. And here's like seven, 700, even more, all, all, almost 800. Okay, this is the difference between encoding and not, re-encoding and not. Okay, as you can see here, it shows you that it's copying. And by the way, now you have your video. Minute long videos, you can see here. As you can see, it's way, way, way faster and it can really save a lot of your time if you want to, maybe you have some project, you need some 
many parts you want to cut this this part from a video and this from the and you know if if you want to to make a collage let's say and by the way you can do the same operation just by re-encoding audio or just by re-encoding video okay to do no, actually i need copy here to do so you want to do for example if i do not want to re-encode the video but just the audio i want to copy the video like this okay v by the way stands for video stands for video and a for audio so as you will see here as you can see here it says copy so the video is copied while the audio it's it's been uh, it ha it was re-encoded i can do the same for the audio I will, it will take by the way longer for the for the video sorry because re-encoding the video it takes longer as you can see here it's re-encoding the video using this codec and the audio is just being copied all right that's it hope it was helpful and uh, yeah actually there is also some other things you can also put this option here before the input you can put both of these before the input or after but yeah this is the more precise i guess so if you have some problems try to play with the with those two option position okay and also if you want to put this before the input you have to calculate also this time here so for example if i want to cut after a minute a 60 seconds long it, it has to be like that it has to be actually 60 seconds plus this this time here so it will be either 120 seconds or you can also yeah just write like this okay let's say they want to 30 seconds without re-encoding possibly that's it and now as you can see here I have 30 seconds so if you have problems maybe you want to cut a minute long video but you have like a minute and three seconds you can play you can check the uh, those two options position especially this one maybe if it's better if you put this one after the input all right and just before the output all right hope it was helpful and uh, leave a like if you like this kind of video that i'm doing and i'll see you in the next time guys bye bye